Hello, it's Yoshino here, and today I'm gonna show you how I rig hair. With this tutorial, we will be rigging short hair mostly, actually, because for longer hair I use skinny for the for the for example for the pigtails. But today we're working on the fringes and short hair in general, so you will be able to make it all swingy and fluffy, even if there is actually a slight only a slight movement so for making your hair physics you have three techniques or at least there are three techniques that i use one is the path deformer which i use for the shorter hair another one is for the medium hair which is with uh warp deformers and this um are actually uh, more like skinning. I use it uh, for medium hair and it's like skinning but a little bit less complex. But uh, for this tutorial I will just uh, talk about the path deformer which actually is very useful if you are a beginner you can use this one for all the short hair that you have in general so if you want you can stick just to this technique. Okay, so usually I create a folder specifically, specifically for my hair physics so that I will keep everything tidy. For each hair strand, I usually make two parameters if we are speaking about the path deformer technique. Uh, one is to swing, which means going left to right, and it will be linked to angle X of the head. The other one is squish. And it will be linked to the angle Y of the head. So let me uh, reset these parameters so that I can show you how I worked to make them uh, fluffy and cute. Let me remove this. Okay. Let's start as if it was from zero. First of all, let me also remove the pad deformer that I have here. There we go. First of all, I don't know if you know that you can do this, but you can actually put two items inside of the pad deformer. You just click or left click on this one, hold shift, left click again. Now you click on this tool, make sure that you have the creation point tool and you make some points. I usually either use three or four, don't go more because it's gonna be hard. To deform this but keeping a right shape if you put too many it's gonna be very hard look at this let's make it active on the bang mid swing I should go for minus 15 to 15 it's a good number for hair so if I have too many points it's hard to make it move but keep the shape it's weird hard and weird so less are more than enough Let's say four. One thing that you can also do is to select these two and click solo to see just the hair that you're working on so it's less messy. Right? Okay. So now we can start deforming. It's actually very simple. You just drag your points to the left and to the right. What I would advise you is to not use this one at all because this is where your hair starts. Technically here it's connected to the head, right? You don't want to move this one. Also move this one not too much, otherwise you see that it's making rotate the top one as well. Don't use it too much, just a little bit. And work your way a little bit so that you are still keeping the hair shape, not deforming it too much, right? If you go like, psh, psh, you might get confused and not be able to actually keep the shape. Instead, like this, we're creating a nice little deformation without overdoing with the deformation. Usually the tip is the part that moves the most. Nice. You can do the same thing on the others. So in this case, 
<clears throat> yeah, for example, if you have straight hair, you can make it curve to the left and curve to the right. In this case, our hair is naturally curved to the left. So what I usually like to do, instead of trying to force the shape of going to the side, that creates a weird animation there. What I usually do, Ctrl Z to undo any mistake that you did. What I actually like to do is to keep the shape curving to the left like this so it's like fold and unfold fold and unfold I think this is a pretty good and wide movement it's always uh, always a good idea to make your movement wider and maybe decided to make it less wide in the physics instead if you want it wider in the physics you cannot do it because it's gonna look buggy okay so for the swing parameter for the banks here we're done you can click on solo here again to remove it from the solo mode now if you don't have this let's say that i don't have this Let's select this to create a new deformer. Let's call it Bank Made Squish. Give meaningful name to your folders, to your everything, so that you will know, even if you need to do uh, some later adjustments, you know where you have to go and what everything is. So click on your Bank Made Squish. Same thing. Three points. There we go. Now you can select the deformer. And also the hair and go solo so again you have your nice little hair like this what i like to do here is to so to the left is when the air hair will go down we bring it down like this i usually work with the first the lowest two because the if I go this one, it's the same thing. It will move the root and it's not a good thing. If you only have three here. So I have one, two, three, four. If you only have three, this is not good. It's going to move the root. So you can increase it here. Also, if your hair is looking wonky and weird when you do this, you can increase the, the conversion divisions here so that the movement will be more smooth. So after doing this, I also like to make it a little bit larger. So it will look more squishy. On the other side, it's the same thing. Just bring this up, up, up. Look at what I'm doing. Basically, this is bigger, medium, and small. Because again, the bottom part is the one that moves the most. Here I did the same thing, smaller, medium, bigger. And here I will make it smaller instead of bigger. Okay, the parameter part for uh, this path deformer technique is done. We now have to go to the physics. Okay, so here we are in our physics panel. I have removed the mid hair physics so that we can work again on it as if we never made it. So first of all, we have to add a new group of physics. Let's make bag mid swing. Input preset you can put head. But you, you might have to change it. We will see it later. And for physics one of preset, I like to go with hair long. Because shorter is too bouncy and fast. I prefer long, even if I'm working on short hair. There we go. Here we can go already on output settings and add our bank mid swing. So our uh, parameter was from uh, 15 to minus 15. So here, one, we have to change it into 15.
there we go so here i am gonna change it because here is the simple thing look at what is happening right now when my body axis is moving i have this bang that is moving it doesn't make sense instead i have hips instead which is hips movement which makes sense that it makes move the the hair so if you don't have hips said movement you can just delete this one instead if you have it just change it there we go the rest makes sense because let's test it you can test it angle x of course it should move angle z of course it should move hips that we already tested it body z Yes, it makes sense that he moves there. Okay. It might be a little bit hard to look at because I have my hips set in the in between here. So it's moving a lot, but let's try to move it slowly. As you can see, with a very slow movement. It's bouncing a little bit too much. I like to reduce my hair because I don't like my hair looking like jello usually. I've got to say number. <laughs> I like to put 0 0.9 or 0 0.85. Let's see again. Hmm. Okay, maybe I would like it to be a little bit... less range so if you reduce this one the range of the movement will be reduced very nice i did that because i saw that the hair was moving too much compared to the rest so it looked like it looked like the bang banks were broken look at in the middle it looks like the banks are broken so i am reducing this one this is what i told you earlier we are making we are making it less uh what the, the the range is less wide but we are doing it here the parameter is still the same okay but now that we reduce the range maybe the hair is a little bit too too slow compared to the rest we can go and reduce this one maybe even more actually so like this it will be faster at completing the movement because uh, duration 8 so if you if you have 12 it uh, it needs to do the same movement in more time so it will be slower if you put 8 it does the same movement but in less time so it's faster like like this, I, I like it. Now we can work on the squish. Bang, me, squish. Head input. And hair log is good again. Let's already add bang, me, squish. We can make again the scale to go to 12 again. Now here I want to change it to Y angle y and again if you have let's say that it was body y i don't even have body y <laughs> oh i have i do i do i do look what i didn't see it yes i'm blind okay let's say that i had i had body y it doesn't make sense that this hair moves when the body y moves so you can either delete it or if you have ips y change it to if to one okay again i am already kind of liking it but it's pushing too much you see the shaking here is after the the moment is finished the hair goes boom, boom, boom. it's a little bit too much can you use it Again, I think it's too slow. 
Let's make it eight. Yes, I like it. Fine, it was easy, right? You now can do the same thing for all of the rest of your bangs. And boom, you have it. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. I hope it was useful. Uh, feel free to comment if you have any problems or questions. Uh, or also suggestions for the topics of the new videos. I hope that maybe you can leave a like or subscribe if you like the video. Maybe share it with your friends. And good job and good luck with your new models that you will make it. I know you can do it. And also be sure to not miss my debut date. I will post the day, uh, the announcement on Twitter in the next days. So be sure to not miss it. I will leave the links to my Twitch and Twitter in the description so you will not miss it. Bye bye. Thank you so much for watching.